Point Alive salutes the thousands of volunteers who helped in United Way's Day of Caring. This community is you and me. A bright shining through. 21 Alive is the station that cares for you. Run, Jane, run. It's for you, and it's fun. Many of today's most successful women are athletes. 21 Alive and the Fort Wayne Women's Bureau invite you to be a part of Run, Jane, Run in 1995. Call the Fort Wayne Women's Bureau for information on your chance to compete. Hello. I'm Stephanie Miller. Looks like I'm going to be a while. So how about if I tell you about my brand new late night talk show? Hey, you just got in there. Did you wash? Oh, sure. While we're waiting in line, the guys are going out and grabbing all the great jobs. I'm tired of waiting. I'm coming in. <laughs> all right, all right. Ooh, hi. Come here often. Weeknights at 12.35, beginning September 15th, only on 21 Alive. My name is Stephanie. Talk to 21 Alive by Internet. Email your comments today. Should a woman have the right to sue a man if he lies to get her into bed? Some feminists say yes. I think it's ludicrous because it treats women as children. I'm Dennis Prager, and I've got a scenario for the men in our audience. Let's say you've told a woman that you loved her in order to get her into bed. Later, when you're no longer returning her call, she realizes you're a pretty slimy fellow and you've lied. Personally, I think the kind of man who does this is one of the lower forms of humanity. But the question tonight is, should she be able to sue for fraud? The question is not, is this guy decent or indecent? He's indecent. But should she be able to go to court? With me tonight is Gloria Allred, a feminist attorney known nationwide for her devotion to protecting the rights of women in the workplace and in their private lives. See, I've done, I will applaud. I will personally applaud. She is also a fellow talk show host of mine on KABC Talk Radio in, in Los Angeles, in Southern California. Gloria, it's good to have you. Thanks, Dennis. Gloria, you and I generally agree on the following. The earth is round. And, uh, and that, I thought and your that, view was that it was flat. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we do agree on that okay. one. And that apples fall due to gravity. Beyond that, I think we differ on, the, on most items. But to get to the issue at hand, uh, do you really, uh, do you agree with that? I know this, uh, uh, Professor Jane Larson suggested that originally. A woman should be able to sue if a man lied to her, conduct we all considered obnoxious and, and, and immoral. But should she be able to sue in court because he got her into bed and she volitionally went there because of his lies about love? Well, I don't think that's exactly the example that she gave. I think a better example, Dennis, would be uh, if a man, for example, says that uh, he doesn't have any sexually transmitted diseases and then uh, she goes to bed with him and it turns out that uh, he has herpes or uh, is HIV positive or has some other sexually transmitted disease, should she be allowed to sue for sexual fraud if she relied on his representation, if in fact uh, they went to bed and then she is damaged because she contracted okay, that disease? I, I read her article and uh, I, you know, it's too long to read on the air, of course, but I thought it was also if he says, I love you, I would like to marry you and goes to bed. I don't think people would have a difficulty if I say to you, I mean, what if I say to you, I, I don't have tuberculosis, please allow me to cough in your face. I mean, obviously, I, 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 have, I have defrauded you and caused you to get sick. I'm not sure people have a big argument with that. She actually is written. Now, if you're against what she wrote in that, too, we could move on. I, I don't want to create... No, I'm not. Actually, what she's talking about is the old uh, uh, causes of action for seduction of a woman and also for other types of fraud that a woman may be subjected to. And I think that, it, that people should be responsible for their actions, and that includes being legally responsible. If a man has made an intentional misrepresentation to a woman, if she relies on it, if she is harmed by it, if she can prove that, then she should be able Psychologically to Psychologically harmed. 
whether it's physically harmed, no, no, we're talking economically every, harmed, or psychologically, psychologically harmed. Right. So in other words, I, I, I love you, I love you, I love you. We go to bed, you feel psychologically harmed by that. And uh, even if there is no disease, this is, this is grounds for litigation. Well, not necessarily the I love you situation, which would be tough to prove, but there would be other situations, for example, if he, if he got her into bed by promising to marry her and then didn't marry her, uh, then, then maybe that should be actionable. I, I right. know that folks like you, Dennis, who are conservatives, generally value money very highly, and therefore... You... Where, whereas you don't, and well, I am no, glad no, to hear I'm that, I understand. Right. Liberals don't value money right. highly. This is a revelation on this show. You heard it here, and you'll never hear it anywhere else. Okay, and yeah. Therefore, and therefore, in the area of commercial transactions in the marketplace, I'm sure that you think that for fraud uh, involving money or business, right. that men should be able to sue other men yes. if there is a fraud that, that gets them correct. to give and up you their will, money. And you agree with that, too. Absolutely. Right. So but, somehow, but however, if I you... defrauded you in terms of emotions, you should still be able. Well, we have in society regarded people as mature enough to handle emotional fraud. For example, what if a woman did it the other way? What if a woman says, oh, I'm dying to sleep with you. Oh, just one more great dinner and one more trip to Paris, and then I'm dying to sleep with you. Can she go to court? Well, obviously, it should work both ways. Well, the right so is you not believe only that? The right right, should be... That's why, it's, that's why I call it ludicrous. Well, you call okay, it if a guy went way. to court for that, she promised me to go to bed. I spent all this money on her, and I got zilch. Well, Dennis, you call it ludicrous because you haven't heard the rest of it. And also because well, you what, value what because you value the commercial marketplace. No, I don't. No, commercial than, oh, Herschel. We'll be back a right after a commercial. I value this commercial very much because this makes the, the program possible. Then we'll be right back. <laughs> It's that time of year again, Visine season. The time for red, burning, irritated eyes. The season when your eyes need all the help they can get. The season for Visine. Of all the eye drops you can buy, Visine is the only one recommended by pharmacists four to one over any other brand. It's so effective, it gives you 100% of the relief you need. So red, irritated eyes feel 100% refreshed. Remember, it's Visine season. Better get Visine. It gets the red out. Hi, I'm Jim Palmer. If you thought you missed the opportunity to refinance your mortgage when interest rates were low, well, now you've got a second chance. With a recent drop in interest rates, now is the perfect time to refinance your mortgage and lock in a low rate at the money store. Just call 1-800-LOAN-YES. Even if your credit is less than perfect, you can still refinance your mortgage and lower your monthly payments. Don't let this second chance to refinance pass you by. Call the money store today at 1-800-LOAN-YES. When something's wrong with your child or teenager, there are many warning signs. Why? Why? Why do you keep doing that? If you think your child or teenager has a problem, Charter is here to help. Found this. What is this? What are you trying to hide? Drugs? 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 We're here to help you 24 hours a day with outpatient or hospital care. During the day or in the evening after work, you can call anytime. You just, just so seem so angry. 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 The first step in easing your child's pain is calling for help. Call Charter. It could make your child's life and yours so much better. I didn't do it. Do it. Do it. Call and talk to one of our trained counselors about our options for treatment. I wish I were, I were dead. 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 Your family doesn't have to keep suffering. If your child or teenager has a problem, call us 24 hours a day. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. They're Fort Wayne's number one news team at 6 a.m. 21 Alive's Jennifer Blomquist is standing by at the scene now. Well, Victor, there are still lots of crews here. They're investigating the scene. There were four people inside when this fire broke out. Each morning, 21 Alive's Jennifer Blomquist and Victor Locke bring you overnight news, weather, traffic, and... He says, if you ever wonder why you never see any Red Skeleton movies anymore, <laughs> and apparently, apparently, that's because... Jennifer Blomquist and Victor Locke, weekday mornings from 6 to 7, only on WPTA-TV, 21 Alive. I'm here with women's rights attorney Gloria Allred. You felt you didn't finish on this issue, and let me just explain for, uh, for those of you uh, who might have just tuned in. 
We're talking about the case, a professor, uh, Jane Larson, actually, I believe is her name, has written that women should be able to sue, either sex should, but it's primarily women, should be able to sue for fraud in court uh, if a man has led them on emotionally to believe that, uh, they, that he loves her, and then they go to bed and she finds out that he was lying the whole time just to get her into bed. Go ahead. Isn't a woman's body as valuable as money to you? Oh, and I would it, say it's and, more and valuable. I don't think the issue was that. Well, I don't think and the why issue... should she be able to be played on, deceived, manipulated, deprived of That's her consent? That's where morality comes simply in. Simply because that is the answer. and left without any rights no. at all. That is where morality comes in and that is where courts should not come in. There it happens all the time. What if I deceive you for, for your friendship? What if it's really that I want to get a lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things from you otherwise? People are deceived by human beings all the well, time. Well, morality in this instance is just a code word for depriving women of power and the right to have access to the okay. courts to protect their and rights, would, right. to vindicate their rights, and to assert okay. their rights. Okay, and I think that rights is a code word for being an infant. Well, that, that's because what you, well, it's an infant that says, I cannot handle disappointment in my life. I must go to court in order to settle it. Yes, but that's... Well, okay. is, what about a guy... No. A guy who is led on by a woman. I asked you this in the first segment. A guy is led on by a woman, and he is led to believe that she, that she will be sexual with him, and in the meantime gets massive amounts of, of financial benefits. Can he go to court? I think he should. Okay, I think, and I absolutely. think that that guy is a wimp. Well, you think that we that, men you think are deception. Okay. You, you value deception. You want to protect oh, the I person who is deception. committing the fraud. Absolutely. Okay. I say don't. Uh, uh, let's protect the innocent victim, the person who has I been say, preyed upon I by say, the man who is committing okay, the fraud. I'll, all right, I'll say one final thing on this. If you'd like one final, you may have it, okay? I'm a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> I, I, am, I am not the kind of guy who said those things to women. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the issue is, the, in all of life, we are going to hurt women the more we clog up our courts. Because the more we have court cases for trivia like this, the less the real rape cases will get a chance to be aired in court. We have a finite number of judges, a finite number of juries. And they're there if, for the men, right? Okay, if that's your reading, fine. Well, okay, it, let but, me, but let me go point, on. Yeah, no, right. no, no, wait, Dennis, because the point is, you want to protect us out of the right to go to court to assert any right no, that we I have against protect, injustice. And that is not the right thing to do. We should have just, the right to have our day in okay, court. I would like to ask the men in this audience, in your dating life, do you ever feel that you were hurt by a woman, disappointed? Would you raise your hand, please? Thank you very much. You know how many court cases we would have here, based on your theory, on the number of men who felt that some woman led them on or well, something? why shouldn't they have access to the oh, court? Oh, uh, because that's not what courts are for! Oh, are we just there for business? Just okay. There for business, right? Okay. Because All right. you value money, and you value property, okay. and you value a physical harm more than you do emotional harm. To your harm. help. Okay. <laughs> Salud. All right, here we go. All right, listen. Here's a case. On Halloween night, 1991, a female freshman and a male sophomore at Pomona College in California met at a party. You know the story. They got drunk and went to his room. They kissed. They disrobed. She performed oral sex on him. Afterwards, they had sexual intercourse. She claimed she did both reluctantly, but admits she voiced no strong objections. Two and a half years later, she charged him with rape. Uh, Gloria, as a result of today's feminism, when I hear a woman was raped, this is really, this is, this is the tragedy, I, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. As a result of, of activist feminism, rape is so redefined to meaning any time a woman has sexual intercourse and regrets it, that I now no longer know what it means when I hear a woman was raped. I think that you have undermined the cause against rape by elasticizing its definition. understand what rape is. It's okay. simply unlawful sexual intercourse. It's sex without the consent of the female. And if you focus on the fact that she has a right to consent or not to consent, and if she doesn't consent and you still proceed with the sexual intercourse, that's rape, then it'll be easy for you to understand. Now, in this case that you're referring to, there were no criminal charges brought. There was no civil lawsuit filed. And frankly, I don't think it would have been a good case for a criminal case, nor do I think it would have been a good case for a civil lawsuit. What it was was the college Pomona College proceeding against the man because they had a, a, uh, they had a code there of conduct which basically said that if, you have, if you're going to have sexual relations, what you should do is articulate consent. And if you don't articulate you do consent, agree. then there is no consent. Do you agree with that code? I think it's a good idea for, for students and for everyone who's involved in a relationship 
to articulate whether or not they are agreeing to a sexual act. You like if the they Oberlin? have any doubt at all, right. they ought to express it. You like the Oberlin Code? May I unbutton the top button? May I unbutton the second button? How do you feel about the third button? And that in each case there is virtually a written consent clause? Well, as a matter of fact, I think as opposed to ripping a woman's clothes off and afterwards saying, I thought she wanted it. Okay, my suspicion is that the attempt to legislate the most difficult uh, intercourse, and I don't mean sexual intercourse as the act, but male-female relations, the attempt to make sure that any pain suffered, and I don't mean physical, is somehow legislated by the state is an impossible utopian quest by today's feminists. Well, actually, I think you're getting to the heart of it, is, is whose burden is it to understand whether there's a yes or a no? And I think what these college codes are, in fact, doing and saying is that if a man wants to be sure that mm -hmm. someone later is not going to cry rape, if, in fact, it's not justified, then he better be up front and make sure that he's okay. hearing a yes before right. he proceeds. It's really right. for his protection as well We're going to come well back, and I don't want to hear that. All I can say is that the way we, we raise our daughter is to slap him in the face and not use the courts. We'll be back in a moment. Dennis Prager with Lori Alder. I want strong daughters, and I do this. When I get a yeast infection, I buy internal medicine. But for a burning external itch, I use Vagisil cream to stop it instantly. Vagisil works directly on itch nerves. Internal medicines don't. Vagisil cream, regular and new maximum strength. Our dentist gave us a reason to try Arm & Hammer Peroxicare. More baking soda. Two out of three dentists recommend baking soda for healthy teeth and gums. And Peroxicare has ten times more than Mentadent, plus peroxide. For us, it's Arm & Hammer Peroxicare. Serious care for healthy teeth and gums. Want to see something cool? Want to see something really cool? New Brood Clear Gel Antiperspirants and Deodorants with Click Control. Three clicks give you just the right amount you need for all-day protection. The click keeps you cool from morning to night. Because the last thing you want to do is lose your cool. Brood by Fabergé, the essence of man. I think medicine over the last several years and decades has become much more sophisticated. Medical Matters is an excellent tool uh, for the healthcare profession in terms of uh, uh, providing or helping to assist in the understanding of, uh, of medicine itself. Marty, you've been doing Medical Matters for years. The public in general is very lucky to have someone with your basic background. Marty writes Medical Matters Monday through Friday at 5, only on WPTA-TV, 21 Alive, the station that cares for you. There's family fun all summer long here at Fullinger Theater, and it's free. Hi, I'm 21 Alive's Brent Tranum, inviting you and your family to join WPTA-TV and the Fort Wayne Parks and Recreation Department for another great evening of fun and music. Saturday, September 9th at 8 p.m., the Steel Bandits dazzle your senses using 55-gallon steel drums, beautiful vocal arrangements, and unique choreography. It's free at the Fullinger Theater. From your Parks and Recreation Department and WPTA-TV 21 Alive, the station that cares for you. Whether it's a bright sunny day or a nasty storm is brewing on the horizon, you need accurate, timely, and reliable weather information. Only 21 Alive creates a weather forecast using live local radar backed by the National Weather Service, state-of-the-art NATURAD radar, a team of 80 full-time AccuWeather meteorologists, and the forecasting experience of 21 Alive's Jay Walker and Brent Trenum. Using only the best weather forecasting tools available is one more way. WPTA-TV, 21 Alive, cares for you. With my guest, Glory Allred, let's go to, uh, to some questions. Yes, sir. Yeah, Counselor, you've uh, appointed yourself a pretty hopeless task here, I think. Uh, the trick, I think, in the first case, probably trying to find an innocent party. I mean, uh, so many people will get up in front of courts today just uh, uh, assimilating this or that. And I, 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 I don't see the courts as a crutch in this matter to try and, uh, to try and get somebody's maturity out. I don't think there's any replacement for getting to know somebody and not just uh, arbitrarily going on whatever's being said okay. at the time. Gloria? Well, I don't think there's any replacement for access to the courts if, in fact, a, an intentional misrepresentation has been made by someone and, in fact, the person is relying on it and then is harmed. Why shouldn't that person have the protection of the courts as they would in a commercial transaction? Should it be easier to get somebody's body by false pretenses 
than to get somebody's money. I don't think so. Right. Well, then let me ask you a question. How would you like, how would you like to ban adultery? How would I like yes, to ban why not? adultery? Why not ban adultery? We'll have less adultery then. You know, why don't we outlaw every despicable form of conduct? Well, as a matter of fact, I think what we should do is we should have a legal system that encourages people to be honest with each other. And that, right, well, and that, 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 and that that's, imposes, that's an answer to my no, question. You know, it's a are you for banning and adultery? It imposes consequences what, for those who are not honest with each other. Okay, right. So if you're dishonest with friends or others, you should, everybody could go to court. Okay. Depending on what the well, harm is. And if you there tell is me that no, I am commercially there, oriented. No, I'm not a lawyer. If there's I mean, a material misrepresentation that results in somebody really being hurt, yes, I think well, the hurt person right. ought to have access to seek justice so, right. in, in the In other courts. words, if you're hurt by a deceptive spouse, <laughs> your spouse has, has been in, unfaithful, you should be able to go to court. This but, is how yeah, modern you know, feminism and old Puritanism are now totally coincided. Well, we're talking it's, it's about shifting the balance of power. Yes, you don't shifting like it shifting away from power. men to women to have their rights, but okay. I say power no. should be shared, okay. and women also ought to have all access right. to it. Yes, please. Okay, first of all, Gloria, I like your new haircut. I'm glad you did. Oh, it looks you. terrific. <laughs> if you like okay. Gloria's new haircut, please clap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. The comment that I have, Gloria, I gotta tell you, I completely agree with uh, women's right and the woman's right to go to court, depending on the situation. I have been attacked myself, and uh, it was my decision whether to go to court or not to go to court. I didn't. I should have, personally. And the way that I feel is that it doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman. We're talking about women now. They should have the right, if they are deceived or hurt, whether That's it right. is physically, psychologically, it doesn't matter. If they're hurt, they have a right. They can take care of it themselves. That's fine. You can't always take care of yourself. So that's my opinion. So you, I agree you, with you. You would like Thank to see you. everyone who is sex psychologically hurt to be able to go to court depending for psychological hurt? Depending on the situation and depending on the amount, the quote unquote amount, because everybody's opinion is going to be different on the type or the amount of the abuse. Absolutely. Or the, I agree with taking you. Yeah. Well, all right. This is not a healthy trend to me. Okay. Thank you, though. Yes, sir. Hi. Well, why it's hard to disagree with the. Uh, cases as presented by Dennis in the beginning of his show, which is kind of a, a straw man case, and I am against frivolous lawsuits uh, uh, like you, Dennis, I have to take issue with you uh, that your general uh, attitude that sexual harassment should be handled with a slap is naive and dangerous. I've seen what happens to women if they try to handle sexual harassment with a, a, a slap. They, well, actually, there are no we, competition for We haven't discussed men. sexual harassment at all. I would well, love to. You, that's the undercurrent, but you did it's close the, the last segment with the slap. The no, 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 no. I, I'm pretty precise about what I say. I, we only spoke about two specific issues. The fraudulent thing where a guy has promised certain uh, love or even marriage and defrauded the woman thereby to get her into bed. That is not sexual harassment, and that is what, uh, what I would define as sleep with me or, uh, or you will uh, be fired. That, to me, is, in fact, legislatable. But uh, a guy having a, a pinup on his desk to argue that that creates a hostile uh, working atmosphere and he, you, can, you can be forced to remove that from your desk, this is the stuff that I think infantilizes women. If a woman can't handle a guy's uh, a bikini uh, picture at, 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 her, at his desk, uh, we're in bad shape. Talk about being infantile. How about a grown man having a picture of a naked woman next to his desk? You're telling me that, that that's infantile. not infantile? It certainly but is. But a woman who but, doesn't but, want to have to look issue, at that when wait, she walks wait. in every day, that somehow if she says that she doesn't want to have to look at that, yes. that that's and infantile? and legislates it. No, I think she's right not to have to look at it. I don't want to look at it as a man. I think it's demeaning to have cheesecake photos up at an office. The fact that I don't think something should be legislated doesn't mean I like it. I'm against adultery, but I don't want it banned. Yeah, well, you're basically saying, I don't like it, but women shouldn't have any power to do anything about it. And that's where I disagree with you. Because or either, men. It's, or it's, men. It's we either, talked look, about men being defrauded earlier. The point is, is sexual, uh, unwelcome sexual conduct or words or pictures in the workplace are, are problems that create for women a, a real difficulty in winning equal employment opportunity. They're there to do their job. They would like to be right. professionals. I'd like men to be professionals, do their job, keep these cheesecake photos out of the workplace. I agree, Stop they should, harassing but women, it shouldn't pinching their be butts. in court. Well, thank you, thank Gloria. You much, See you at the radio station. I'll, I'll court, be right Dennis. back. Oh, no, no. I'll be right back with my own thoughts. <laughs> See me in court, right? If you plan on being in the Los Angeles area, we would love for you to be part of our studio audience. So give us a call for free tickets at 213-852-4532. 
I like my dog more than most people. Has America gone to the dogs, loving your pet too much? Next, Dennis Prager. The future, what does it hold for you? Will you do the right thing? Will you make the right choice? Hello, sweet spirits. I'm Kenny Kingston. The psychics on my hotline are there to help you take control of your destiny. Sometimes I have a decision to make, and I'm kind of walking the line. I don't know which way to go. It's times like that that Kenny's psychic hotline is there for me. They're caring. They're very positive. And a lot of times they can give me an insight that can help me when I'm walking that line to decide which direction to go. Sometimes you can walk the floor that night. And sometimes you feel like you, don't, you just can't come up with the answer. And it's nice to know that they're like a friend to you. When you call the Kenny Kingston hotline, it's like having a friend. My psychics are there to help you make your wishes and your dreams become a reality. Don't wait, please. Make that telephone call now. Where can you find fresh news in the first seven minutes and get a reliable next rad weather forecast? Always on 21 Alive News at 10. Where can you get the day's good news and your nightly lottery numbers? Always on 21 Alive News at 10. I'm Keith Edwards. And I'm Melissa Long. Where can you get fresh news at 10? Top stories in the first seven minutes. A reliable next rad forecast. The day's good news. And your nightly lottery numbers. Always on 21 Alive News at 10. Glitz, glitter, and red-hot razzle-dazzle, there's no stopping the fashion sizzle at the 38th Annual Ebony Fashion Fair. Colorful fabrics and rhinestones array the newest European and American creations by Yves Saint Laurent, Bruce Oldfield, Christian Dior, Valentino, Bill Blass, and others. Don't miss this evening of high fashion drama and pizzazz at the Grand Wayne Center, Saturday, September 16th at 8 p.m. Proceeds benefit the Ultra Art Club. For tickets, call 447-7674 or 426-2935. You know, in case it isn't clear to you, I, I hope it's as, as crystal clear as possible, my loathing of the conduct that we were describing. But that conduct is loathsome and should be legislated out of existence are not the same thing. That's what I keep talking to you about. There are some, I think, for example, that if you talk behind a person's back and badmouth them, I think it's one of the worst things you could do. You could destroy a human being's reputation. And yet, are we going to outlaw gossip? You see what I mean? Outlawing and arguing that something is wrong are not the same thing. That's what I'm worried about. I want murderers and rapists in our courts, not people who are deceptive in emotional relationships. What do we have instead of courts for that? We have something called moral values. And do you know what I am convinced of? I am convinced that as religion recedes in importance in America, laws are increased to take up their place. If a Prager male, if one of my sons acted like this to a woman, I would throw up my hands. I would say, what did I do wrong? The whole way I was raised by my father, the whole way my boys are raised by this father, is that you never treat a woman like that. You don't let your testes run your life. You let your values, in our case, religious values, run your life. Not go to court, though. That's what I beg women to do. Let's raise boys with good values. Let's not rely on courts and lawyers, but on a value system. That's my plea. I'm Dennis Prager, and I hope I've made you think a second time. Thanks very much. Create big volume curls and waves with Conair's amazing Big Curl Setter. Five soft surface rollers that are kind to your hair. Save up to 70% and more on your contact lenses. Have your prescription ready and call Vision Unlimited. 1-800-2-VISION. Jonelle Sculpture Gel Nails. Stick it, buff it, gel it, set it. Lengthens and strengthens. Jonelle Sculpture Gel Nails. Beautiful nails made easy.
it's coming. The big guns. The big tools. Hold on to that, Timmy. Oh. And big, big laughs. Is there any way you can swing it so I could drive a tank? That's jeopardizing national security. Home improvements rolling into weeknights, starting with an all-new episode. Premiering Monday night at 6.30, only on 21 Alive. After decades of dreaming, this flood-prone area along Clinton Street will become what it should have always been. Headwaters Park, a festival center and a recreation area, which above all, will considerably reduce flood damage in our downtown area. You can help make this vision a reality. Your gift of a tree, a park bench, or even a brick will ensure a lasting legacy in Fort Wayne that generations to come will appreciate. For information on how to help, call Headwaters Park Commission at 425-5745. I think um, since I've been around for quite a long time, a lot of people are comfortable with me because they know me. They know when all my children were born and they like to see them growing up. This is Eric. No, no. I thought you liked these. There's Adam and he's playing with his little arcade basketball game which he got for his birthday. Don't show this, this is a mess. I'll just lounge here. 21 Alive, News at 5, weekdays after Oprah. This is WPTA-TV, Fort Wayne, a Granite Broadcasting Company station. Thank you for joining us on 21 Alive. WPTA-TV is a Granite Broadcasting Company station operating on the assigned frequency of 512 to 518 megahertz with an effective radiated power of 557,000 watts through the authority of the Federal Communications Commission. Our studios, offices, and transmitter are located on Butler Road in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thank you for watching us here on WPTA-TV 21 Alive. And have a very pleasant good night. Yes, it is. Any brother who 